somebody needs to have their bags, pack them ready. Because I'm getting, it's about to be go time for you. Something has not been received in full. I'm hearing years, so it's been years. Some of you have been waiting for the finances to change, for a job to change, a business to change. Could be years that you have been single or whatnot. And conception that something massive is about to occur. Be pissed at quite a few people that this is what you're having to do. Already wrote out the con. It, it's it's over, y'all. The Grim Reaper comes like that's that's same death. That's the sound to Muerta. And I interacted with this entity in a dream. Hello, Leo. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys. Okay, this is a bonus read. It's a general read. Take what resonates. Cross watchers are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in a late tree lake. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guidance, and this read for my Leos. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. So, Leo, you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing, um, oh my goodness, it's that Disney movie. I believe it's Disney. It might be Pixar, but I feel it's Disney. And it's the little girl that can transform into the panda. That's what I'm saying. Okay, we have Neptune, Pisces, Hangman High Priestess, Neptune in Transit. We have Aries here. Towerful and the Emperor. Some of you could be an Aries Crosswasher, an Aries Moon or Rising. Number 11, Justice, Libra, Venus in Transit. Six of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Nine of Wands. Queen of Wands on the side. Death. Okay. I, I. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Saying death is really out here. Santa Muerta, okay? And I used to think that that entity was demonic until I had a dream. Not even a dream. I, I'm not going to say that that was a dream, although that's what we would call it. But I had a dream where I interacted with this being, and that's when I realized that, you know, this is a natural thing and part of our spiritual journey. You know, it's like The Sims when... The Grim Reaper comes like, that's, that's saying death, that's the sound to Muerta. And I interacted with this entity in a dream. You know, I used to think that that was demonic, that that was like dark stuff, I would stay away from it and whatnot. I was really scared of that stuff. But after that dream, I realized the truth. That we don't have to fear, you know, who they say, the Grim Reaper or Santa Muerta. We don't have to fear this entity. But this entity... It's coming, you see, it's the 11th hour. That's why number 11 on the dice. It's the 11th hour. The 11th hour is the final hour before the clock strikes midnight. And what happens when the clock strikes midnight? The tower, a massive change. The 11th hour is like a premonition, a, a preconception that something massive is about to occur. What does this mean? Why does it matter? What this is telling me is that your life is about to change forever. It's very close. Something in the routine, there has been blockage, there has been delay when it comes to money or when it comes to love, or it could have been both. It could have been both things, Leo. Something has not been received in full. I'm hearing years, so it's been years. Some of you have been waiting for the finances to change, for a job to change, a business to change. It could be years that you have been single or whatnot, and... This is like the extra help that you're going to need, but you will need to work with this being and cooperate because a lot of people, you know, they think of like death as like just, you know, someone passing, but death can also mean the ending of a relationship, the ending of a routine, a, a life we've been living, a situation we've been stuck in, right? So this is what I get here. Queen of Wands on the side. I feel that, you know, some of you could be more religious, um, you could have a denomination of faith, 
but you must understand here that you will have to cooperate with this this being you may have to cooperate with archangel azrael as well the angel of death the archangel of death okay this is some heavy pluto energy that's coming up <clears throat> you have the six of swords seven of pentacles four of swords nine of wands so after this tower hits leo where do you go where do you go you know it's like a new beginning but where do i go you're gonna have to think deeply here in the event that you have to pack up your bags and leave in a hurry you must have a general idea of where you're going to go or if you need to travel a few places here <clears throat> you must have some type of concept or idea here because I'm getting it's about to be go time for you. Nine of Cups in reverse. Your whole world's about to be turned upside down. So don't get caught off guard. Be ready to use whatever tools you have necessary to be able to continue forward on the journey. Ten of Cups, King of Swords. And you see, th this is the most high right here. And he's playing some type of 5D chess over your life. The most high, he's trying to get you on your optimal timeline. Your highest timeline. Peak happiness. Wish fulfillment. This is what he's trying to do. However, the means that the most high is going to do this, you may not like it. It may, gave you, it may give you a lot of emotions emotional outbursts anxiety okay because you're a fixed sign you like routine even if the routine is boring it's the same as hit you like you know you sustain the seasons taurus leo aquarius scorpio you guys like your routines you like to you know you don't like shocks and surprises and things that are out of the ordinary to happen too much like yeah, a good surprise every now and then, but that's not really your thing. You you like to have a, a plan, a goal, a long-term goal, and you like to be working towards that and building towards that. When things go haywire, it can cause you a lot of mental distress and anxiety, which I do see is what's going to happen here. I see it happening, and it's because of these changes that feel forced upon you against your will but you see when the santa muerta comes when the grim reaper comes and you know they have that full backing from spirit to end something in your life there's really not much else you can do at that point better for you to just get on with it you know go wherever you feel they're telling you to go or some of you are being offered a new job opportunity. That's the other thing. And it's like you're going to have to transfer, you're going to have to commute, or you're going to have to move. Uh, the Ace of Cups here, this could be a love situation for some of you with another fire sign. And it's like this fire sign lives out of the country or they live far away. And it's like the Most High wants you to go out there to meet up with that fire sign. Like for some of you, it's going to be that. It could be another city. But you see, this is like the turning point. Abundance, oh my goodness, you see, look, Leo, let me put it this way, spirit wants you to be rich, and they want you to get that good nookie nookie, okay, like, that's all I have to, <laughs> oh my goodness, Leo, y'all, spirit wants you to have money, to be well off, and to be getting that love making, that good love making, okay, you're, you're a very playful sign, Leo. You're one of the most playful signs, honestly. You just like to have fun and show you're not even trying to do all of that craziness. So this is what you've been needing, okay? The wheel and travel. You see, I'm telling you, somebody needs to have their bags packed and ready. Somebody needs to, you know, it's only so many times these messages are going to come out before the, you know, the tower comes and hits, these messages have come up before and people, some people listen and had their bags packed and ready for when the SHIT hit the fan because the SHIT did hit the fan in a few places here on this planet, here in the States, 
recently as well. Sometimes we don't get warning, you know, when these changes come, we don't get warning. We have to be ready to, to get on. And the thing is, it can be very emotional, especially when you've built your life in a place you've settled roots in your place, you've known a place, you know, um, I, I'm hearing the mountains, like somebody could have always loved the mountains, always want to live up in the mountains and whatnot. So this could be like very dehabilitating to have to leave the mountains. That's not going to be for everybody, but somebody loves the mountains up in the air and purpose. Yeah, the most high is going to... There's something here delays yeah and, and karmic justice <sighs> so many people were trying to trying to delay you delay your money people have been attacking your money like crazy as of late leo i would do a reiki to remove money blocks and return to sender okay and search up on youtube because i feel people have been attacking your finances multiple people taking jabs at your finances wanting your money to be unstable um, it's just like, I can see why the Most High wants to move you guys elsewhere or have you be in a different area for a little bit. Sometimes traveling can clear up the energy. Angel is here. Honestly, I feel like the Most High wants to put a lot of you in the spotlight. Yeah, birth and between worlds. This is a move. This is a move, y'all. This this is a physical move that's coming. It's coming. There's nothing that can be done to stop this. It's, it's already been in motion. And now the Most High is about to play his final chess piece. So that you are basically forced. The wheel and travel is destined to happen. And, you you know, I feel like some of you are just not going to be too happy with this. I'm going to be honest. You know, your cat, cats, they don't like their routine to be changed. You know, if you have a pet cat, a lot of them don't like their routine to be changed. If you have to take your pet cat to get bathed, right, they don't really like that. They don't really want to be in this new environment. And then they're having to get in a bath, be scrub, you know, like. They don't really enjoy that, but it's for their own good, especially if they're, they have a ton of hair that they're not shedding. They can't clean themselves properly. You know, it's kind of like, and it's same with cows, same with uh, animals of pasture, right? Taurus, like the cows get used to their pasture. They get used to their farmland. They get used to the barn where they stay in at night, or if the temperature gets too cold, or if there's bad weather, right? Like, they, they get used to that environment. They don't want to have to go out to the unknown. So this is the energy of you're going to be moved into the unknown, and you're not going to like it. I'm just going to say it how it is. You're not going to like it. You're going to be pissed at spirit, your angels, okay? You're going to be pissed at Saint Death, the Grim Reaper, you're going to be pissed at quite a few people that this is what you're having to do. Or you're having to drive over to a different city to start a whole new life. Unlikely. At this time, the situation or outcome is unlikely to occur. And then we have child. So something here is unlikely to change in your current situation. And that's why the Most High has to bring a tower. And you've been persistent, you you know, with this beehive energy, you have been, you, you keep pushing through. And the Most High is, you know, proud of you for pushing through, but you don't have to push through anymore. This is what I call surrender. Just surrender it. Surrender it, Leo. Let it be. Yeah. Heart and home and handcuffs. You're about to be broken free. If you've been trying to sell your home, your home is about to be sold. Yeah, balloons. Look, fun, freedom, optical illusion. 
Yeah, spare. This is a move. This is a move. Either to a different city, a different town, or to a whole different state or a different country. But this is a move. This is what's coming for you guys. Very likely and roadblock. Because people just keep trying to block your momentum. You know, when you come here and you choose to be a Leo, like... I don't know which sign is going to receive the most hate out of them all besides Leo. I feel that Leos are the first that are going to receive from negative energies. Jealous people, envious people. Leos are going to be the first that receive that hate and whatnot. That this, like... I feel like Leos are going to be the first. And then Capricorn, Taurus... <laughs> Gemini, I feel also that I feel I feel Capricorns are, are right there and Taurus as well. Um childhood, book burning. Yeah, there's people here from school that like you haven't seen in five years, six years, four years, three years, ten years, some of you. Uh they're mad at you. If you've been in your hometown, Spirit's going to move you away. Like, this is just a lot. Just have your bags packed and ready. That's all I got to say here. That's that's really what the energy... Yeah, baby. New beginnings. Rings. You have a whole new beginning, a whole new life starting. Map, yeah. Declaration. Spirit already wrote out the con. It, it's it's over, y'all. It's over. Spirit already wrote out the contract and made it official. It's it's done. I'm sorry. Good luck and God bless.